Okay guys, welcome to Engineers Academy. Uh, kindly subscribe my channel if you are new here. Uh, now we are going to solve this problem. It says that determine the location y bar of the centroidal axis is x x dash of the beam's cross sectional area. Neglect the size of the corner welds at A and B for the calculation. So this is the axis which is parallel to the x axis and passing through the centroid of this. Uh, whole assembly and we have to find this y bar of this centroidal axis so for that we have to define our coordinate system so let's say that uh, this is my let's say this is our positive x and y axis let's say this is positive x and this is positive y axis so we we have to divide uh, this whole area into three segments right so we have this area let's say this rectangular area and then this rectangle this vertical rectangular area is let's say area 2 or segment 2 and then this is the uh, circular area so we have to develop that table so i will write segment number then area of each segment and area will be in mm square then since we want to find uh, y bar so we have to find the y tilde for each uh, segment right so this will be in millimeter and then we have to take the product of y tilde and the area of each segment this is the area so now this segment one uh, this rectangle and the area of this rectangle is 150 multiplied by 15 so 150 into 15 and its y tilde uh, the location of the centroid of this segment one along the y axis so its centroid will be uh, at its mid length at its geometric center so then this will be the y tilde for the centroid of this segment one so this is this is this 15 divided by 2 so 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 so i will write that this is 7.5 now the area 2 so we have this area too so its area is 150 multiplied by 15 the width is 15 so again this is 150 into 15 and its centroid will be at its geometric center as well so let's say that its centroid is somewhere here so it's the y tilde of this centroid will be from here to here so this will be the y tilde for this centroid and this y tilde will be uh, the half of 150 the half of 150 so 150 divided by 2 is 75 and 75 plus this 15 this this length so the width of this segment 1 so that is 15 so 75 plus 15 is 90 so this is 90 mm and similarly the area of segment 3 which is a circle circular area so that is pi r square so radius is 50 so pi into 50 square and its centroid will be at its center and uh, the distance of this centroid from that x axis is or from the origin is this length and this is 15 plus 150 plus 50 so 150 this is the from here to here this is the radius of the circle this is 50 so 150 plus 50 250 and this 15 is uh, so that will give us 150 plus 50 200 this is 215 so this is 215 now we have to take the product of this so this is 7.5 into 150 into 15 then 90 into 150 into 15 and then this 215 into 50 square pi and then we have to add up uh, this so this will give us the summation of y tilde times a and then we have to find the total area so that is the summation of all the areas so first of all i will add these so this is uh, this is two times let me write that this is two times uh, 150 into 15 and plus this 50 square pi so 50 square and pi so this is one two three five three one two three five three point nine eight and the units are in 
mm square and now we have to add up all of these so this is 7.5 is 7.5 multiplied by 150 multiplied by 15 plus 90 into 150 multiplied by 15 and plus 215 plus uh, multiplied by 50 square multiplied by pi so this gives us uh, 190 1907981 1907981.051 let's see 0.051 and its units will be the units of this will be so area is uh, mm square and this is mm so this is mm to the power 3 mm cube so now uh, that y bar is equal to the summation of y tilde times area divided by the summation of or we can say the total area so this is we know that this is 1907981.051 divided by this which is 12353.98 so this is mm to the power 3 and this is mm square so they will cancel out and the units of y bar will be mm right so we will divide this answer this answer by that area which is 12353.98 and this gives us 154.44 so y bar is 154.44 mm so that distance is uh, 154.44 mm. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Also like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems from heavy statics.